That mumble rap, baby. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that nigga was talking about, but the shit sounds good. So, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he sounds fucking deaf, if you ask me. Future sounds deaf. All these mumble rappers sound, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, come on, man. Open your mouth and speak. All right? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm a little under the weather. As you see, I, I got some bum bumps on my fucking lip, man. I've never had this shit before in my life. Um, like in How High, if you've seen that movie, he's like, Pass the Dutchie, my friend. He's like, uh, that shit on your lip got some shit on his lip. And that, <laughs> that's me. I've never, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> that looks really bad. It's like a fucking herpy on my lip, man. So, um, thank you guys. So, all serious. Um, Thank you, man. You know, I made a blog the last time and uh, I just said, you know, how I was feeling. You know what I mean? Uh, I was keeping a buck with you guys and I was just telling you that I'm struggling. I'm going through some shit and sometimes I don't feel like doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being transparent with you guys because I feel like sometimes it's hard to see. You just see people just see the end result. And sometimes people put filters on shit. You know, like a Facebook filter or Instagram filter. You put it on there to mask the original picture to make it look better, to accentuate the, 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 the picture, make it look better. But I felt like, you know, let me tell you who I really am. So that way you know, because maybe you might be struggling with the shit too. And it's funny because a lot of people reach out to me. And that shit, man, uh, that shit means a lot to me, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm being sincere right now. That that really means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, people reached out to me like, Gabe, don't give up, man. Stay strong. You inspire me. You know, I watch your videos. I laugh. I cry. You know, don't give up. Please continue making videos. You're my hope. You give me inspiration. And you know what, that shit means a lot to me. It means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know little old me would have such an impact. Um, so, thank you, you guys give me hope. And just know I'm never gonna give up. You know, I'm never gonna give up. I might feel like it and I might vent like, fuck man, I don't feel like doing this shit, but I'm never gonna give up. I got too much to live for. You're never gonna give up, you understand? Like. We got too much to live for, guys. And um, our life has bigger meaning, bigger purpose. And um, the more we can spread our light and shed light among other, amongst other people, the better we're gonna become. So I just wanna give a shout out, man. And I wanna give a shout out to and I, all the people that have reached out to me during this time and said, yo, Gabe, we stick by you, don't give up. Please stay positive, stay motivated, you know? Um, so let me do that, let me give a shout out, okay? Um, there's a lot of fucking people. But first off, Steven Collis, okay? This dude is out of the UK. He's reached out to me several times, told me about Dr. Morse's videos. Hey man, I'm just checking in on you. I'm worried about you, I'm thinking about you, bro. Hope everything is good. Big shout out to you, homie. I mean, it means a lot to me. Um, for the love of health, She's another one. She's in uh, she's in Canada. Steven's in, in the UK for the love of health. She's in Canada. So shout out to Canada. Me and her have been going back and forth via social media. Shout out to her. Meta Spencer, Barbara Very, Saroon Style, um, 11 A Wit. I see you, dog. Uh, Sammy Rose, Zayda Baker. He's another one, man. Uh, tremendous. Much love. Um, Doug Price. Um, decalcify your pineal gland um, follow him on Instagram he has supplements and uh, to decalcify your pineal gland he's he read a book and he sent me the name of the book and I don't have it but it was a study showing that people with MS have severe decalcification in your pineal gland and by decal or calcification in your pineal gland and by decalcifying it 
it it it benefits you tremendously so he has supplements i've taken them they they work well i'll do another review on him but shout out to him hottie what's up bro uh karina rain she's another one jennifer hoskins um and uh for those who, who, who i've left out you know uh i appreciate all the love i appreciate you guys reaching out to me you know what i'm saying it, mean, it means a lot to me you know um there's even been people that have reached out to me to say, hey, yo, Gabe, hey, yo, Gabe, have you tried diametaceous, I think it's diametaceous, um, um, I, I don't know if it's oil, it's diatomaceous clay, I think it is. Um, I was like, no. Um, someone else reached out to me, hey, Gabe, have you tried black seed oil? No, but I ordered that shit again on, on Amazon, so I'm going to see the effects. We're a tribe here, you see what we're doing. We're a tribe and, and together we have all this knowledge. There's other people communicate with each other. That's what this is about. Follow each other on Instagram, follow each other on Facebook. If you see my video and you see somebody else commenting, ask them questions because guess what? They're the ones talking to me and they're, they're more than willing to share this information. And I'm looking at the fucking leaves falling. I just washed my damn car and now I got leaves. Anyway. Um, but follow these people. You know what I'm saying? Ask them questions. That's the purpose of our tribe here is we can share each other, each other, share knowledge, and most importantly, reach out to each other. When, when we're not feeling well or just to check in, like Steven's doing with me. Hey, bro, how's it going? You need anything? You good? Yeah, I'm good. You know, or, hey, you know what? I'm not doing so well. Or I'm cheating on my diet. You know, I need some inspiration. Feed me. And as you can hear me, I'm I'm sick, man. I got this, like, head cold. And uh, it's going to get better. I've been taking, like, D3 and vitamin C and all kind of shit. But um, that, was, that was the purpose of this. You know, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, um really I'm serious like thank you guys shit um it touches me and 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 thanks to you guys you are one of the reasons that gets me through so thank you and again if anybody needs my support please reach out to me if you just need something hey I'm gonna start posting um inspirational videos so I'm gonna make um, a playlist with like inspirational things that I watch that can help you when you're um, when you're feeling down because that's what I listen to you know I try to uh, sometimes lately I haven't been but I try to flood myself with positivity and, and you know it's it's important that we we do that especially um, since we do suffer from de depression since our, our condition isn't always the best right now I'm hobbling like hell but I know it's just because of stress and, and, and I think I'm going under attack right now. I'm under attack. But um, just know that we are getting better. One person asked, hey, Gabe, are you on any medication right now? And like I told you before, I always keep it a buck with you. I am. I'm on a Baggio. It wasn't always like that. When I was first diagnosed, I was on nothing. I was on nothing. I was taking care of myself I was on no grain no sugar I was taking tons of vitamins and the only thing I was taking is um, LDN low dose naltrexone which I still take to this day and I talk about that in previous blogs LDN Larry David David Nancy look into that shit okay have your doctor prescribe it if you, they can't prescribe it there's a number on the website you can find doctors that will you call them up and they'll, they'll do a consult over the phone and they'll prescribe you the medication um, so, so look into that, and I forgot what the fuck I was just saying. <laughs> uh, memory, memory is a, a big one. But you know, thank you, and and that's what I was saying. I was saying, you know, I'm, I'm on Jelenia right now, or Abagio. I started out on Jelenia, that didn't work. Then they switched me over to to Cybri. that didn't work. Then they wanted to give me another infusion. And uh, I was like, nah, I don't want to do infusions right now because the other one, and I can't remember the name, um, 
the effect, they tried to say one of the side effects, but the effect of the medication was fucking cancer, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already, I'm already struggling with MS. I don't need cancer on top of MS, okay? I don't, I, I don't need that shit. And so by not taking the medication, I have zero chances of getting cancer. Well, you know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not one of the, uh, that's not a side effect. That's the effect of taking your shit. So if I don't take it, my chances are a lot less of getting cancer. So, um, I'm working on weaning myself off of medication. So if you're on medication too, don't worry about it. You know, um, take care of yourself. If you fall, fall forward and, and keep, it's a progression. Slowly start weaning yourself off, but it starts with taking care of yourself. 365 days of self-care and being comfortable and being okay with eating the same shit every day. Animals do it. We're the only species that eats multiple shit. And at a time, let alone at that, that's what I mean, at a time. So we sit down and we eat greens, we eat fruit, we eat steak, we eat rice, we eat all this shit. Uh, I don't know, it can't be that good, man. But I'm rambling. The point is, is love, guys. I, I much love, much love. I really appreciate all the love and support. And um, thank you for sticking with me. Subscribe, uh, like me on all my social media shit. And let's keep pushing, baby, because we're gonna heal. And now I gotta get back to work. The J-O busy, just over broke. Um, I'm living the dream though, guys. I'm living the dream every day. And um, every day I wake up, I'm living the dream. I joke, but every day I'm living the fucking dream, man. I'm awake, I'm alive, and I'm able to talk to you guys, talk to my kids, talk to my, you know, my wife, my family. That's a good day. Now, I gotta get back to this mumble rap shit. I like to keep it ignorant sometimes. Hey, much love, guys. Much love.